This question appeared on a video which explains how to calculate the percentage of row and column totals in a matrix. And what this viewer wanted to know was how to do the same thing, but when the matrix has a second row group. So to help demonstrate this, I've got a basic report set up and ready to go. I've got a data source created already, which connects to the movies database. And just to take you through the basic data setup for the data set and the basic matrix, I'm going to right click my movies data source and choose to add a data set. I'll call this one films. And then using the query designer, I'm going to pick all of the columns from the certificate table, all of the columns from the genre table, and then from the film table, I'm going to pick the runtime minutes and the release date. I'm also going to add a basic filter to limit the number of rows I'm working with. So I'll add a filter here based on the release date field from the film table. And then I'm going to use the operator that says is more than or equal to. And for the value, I'm going to use 2010-01-01. I'll then click OK, and that will build my basic select statement. And then just before I finish here, I'm going to add the year function to the release date field. So I don't care about the actual release date for the films, I want just the year. So I'm going to wrap the year function around that, and then provide an alias, we'll call this one as release year. OK, so having done that, we can click OK. And then we can set up the basic matrix. I'm going to start with just a single row group, just a quick reminder of what the original video displayed. So I'm going to right click in here and choose to insert a new matrix. In the rows group, I'm going to select the genre field. And then I'm just going to modify the row group so that it's not grouping on the name of the genre. I'm going to base this grouping on the genre ID, which is a bit more efficient. The sorting will still be based alphabetically on the genre name though. I'll do a similar thing for the columns. I'm going to select the certificate ID and that will set the grouping based on the certificate ID and also set the sorting based on that field. And then I'm just going to change the value displayed here to show the name of the certificate rather than its ID number. Then for the data cell, I'm just going to choose to show the runtime minutes and that will provide a sum. Next, I'm going to just highlight all the cells in the matrix there. And I'm going to make sure that I change the font from the default to any other and then back to the default font. That's just to clear up this font for, uh, font display bug, which you may have encountered when you run a report. Not all the text in your table or matrix gets displayed. And then if I run that, there we go. There's the basic matrix created. In the original video that this question appeared on, we looked at how we could show these values as a percentage of the column total. Just to demonstrate how that works, I'm going to add an extra row into the matrix which shows the grand total for each column. So back in the design view, I'm going to insert a new row into the matrix. I've right clicked on the group row there next to genre, and I'm going to choose to insert a row outside the group above. I'll just add a quick header here that says grand total. And then next door to that, I'm just going to select the runtime minutes field again, which generates the sum of runtime minutes. And if I run the report again, we can see that that gives you the grand total of all the runtimes for that particular certificate. What we then needed to do was divide each of these values by the grand total for the column. I'm going to start by actually showing you how you can display the grand total for the column in each of these cells. So let's head back to the design view. And I'm going to right click on the data cell which contains the original sum of runtime minutes for each individual genre and then choose expression. The idea here is that I want to expand the scope over which the sum is being calculated. So it's not the sum for just that specific combination of certificate and genre. I want the sum for the entire certificate. And to do that, I can specify the name of the certificate ID group in the second parameter of the sum function. So I can type in a comma just before we close the round brackets. And then in some double quotes, we can type in the name of that group, certificate ID. And we then close the double quotes. The M function looks like that. And then if we hit OK and run the report, we'll see the grand total for each certificate appears next to every single genre in the entire column. Now, ideally, I only wanted that to appear next to genres which actually had a runtime for that particular certificate. So let's just head back to the design view. I'm going to right click on that same expression and choose expression. And then we're going to add an if function at the beginning of this. I'm going to say IIF, open some round brackets. And then on the next line, I'm just going to quickly copy most of this function. So sum fields runtime minutes value. And I'm going to pass that into the is nothing function. So I'm going to say if is nothing, open some round brackets, sum of runtime minutes, and then I'm going to close two sets of round brackets, followed by a comma, 
And if that's true, I'm going to show a value of nothing in that cell, followed by another comma. I'm just going to tidy up my indenting there. And then finally, I need to close an extra set of round brackets for the if function. So if the original sum of runtime minutes for that particular cell was blank, then show a blank. Otherwise, show the grand total for that column. So if we hit OK and then run the report again, there we go. We've got the grand total for that particular certificate next to every cell which would have originally shown a value. To calculate the percentage of the column total then, we take the original sum of runtime and divide it by the value we've just calculated. But before we do that, I'd like to show you what happens when we add a second row group. So I'd like to group each of the genres by the year in which the films were released. I'm going to head back to the design view and I'm going to select the matrix and then in the row groups panel, I'm going to right click on the genre group and choose to add a new parent group to that. I'm doing this because I want to easily be able to add a group header row. So I'm going to check the box for a group header and then select the release year field from the drop down list there. I can then click OK. I'd like to show the grand total runtime for each year at the top of that column as well. So in between the grand total and the actual value for the genre, I'm going to select the sum of runtime minutes field again. And then I'm just going to add a new header there that says year total. I'm just going to change the header there. I'm going to take away the uh, the release year header from that cell and place it in this one instead. Okay, a little bit of basic formatting just to help this read a little more clearly. I'm going to change some of the background colors and font colors here as well, just to help read and see what's going on. And then we're nearly there. Okay, so at that point, if I run the report again, we can hopefully see that each individual cell is still showing the grand total for the entire certificate. So it's not showing the grand total for that certificate and year combination. That should be 291 for 2010 animation movies. We're still seeing the grand total of all uh, Universal films for the entire column. So how can we change our expression so that each cell shows the total for the year rather than the grand total of the entire column? You might expect we could just modify the scope parameter to refer to the year group, but that doesn't quite work. Let's head back to the design view and I'm going to right click on the expression cell and choose to view the expression. And then let's change the certificate ID group scope to refer to the release year scope instead. So I'll change certificate ID to refer to release year. If we hit OK at that point, I just noticed before as well that I wasn't showing the release year title. I suspect that's to do with the font rendering bug. So let me just quickly solve that by switching back and forth between our two different fonts. When we run the report now, what we should see as well as the release year title, thankfully, that every single cell in each year group is showing the same value. So the grand total we're seeing here now in each cell is the total for everything in that year. Just to quickly prove that, if I go back to the design view, we could insert a new column into this matrix. Let's insert a new column outside the group to the right. And here we could display the sum of runtime minutes for the entire year in that new column. So we have a look. And in fact, let's show it for each genre as well, just to be completest about it. And if we run the report again, so you can see the grand total runtime for the year 2010 is 30. Uh, 3,240, I should say, and that same value is displayed in every single individual cell. So by changing the scope to refer to the release year group, we've removed the scope of the certificate groups. What we really want to be able to do is set the scope to refer to both the year and the certificate, but sadly the scope parameter doesn't support multiple groups. So we need an alternative solution to get this to work. The simplest option I could find to make this work wasn't to use the sum function and the scope parameter at all, but rather to reference an existing cell in the matrix which contains the value we're trying to retrieve. Now, the small price to pay here is that we do need to show the subtotal for each year in the matrix, but I think it's a small price to pay for the simplicity of the option we're about to use here. It will help immensely if we have a sensible name to refer to this cell in the matrix. So if we head back to the design view, I'm going to select the cell that shows the sum of runtime for each certificate group and release year combination. 
then in the properties window, I can find the name property for that cell. It's currently called runtime minutes two. And I'm just gonna change that so it's called, let's call this year certificate total. And I'm just gonna quickly copy that name to the clipboard as well because I'll need it in my expression in just a moment. So now that I've renamed that object, that report item, I'm gonna go back to the original expression we created here. Choose to be the expression builder and then we're going to take away the sum function entirely from that if function. So as long as the original sum of that cell wasn't nothing, I want to show the value of the item called, uh, what do we call it, year certificate total. To do that, I need to refer to the report items collection. So I can say report items, open or type in a, an exclamation mark, so it's the same syntax as referring to a field in the fields collection. Then I'm going to paste in the name that I've just copied, year certificate total, followed by a full stop, and then refer to the value property. So having done that, if I click OK, and then run the report, we'll see now that each cell in each column shows the total for that year and certificate combination. The final step then is simply to divide the original sum of runtime minutes for each cell by the value we've just calculated. So let's head back to the design view and then we can right click on the expression cell again and choose expression. And then I'm just gonna quickly copy the sum of runtime minutes value expression there and then place that in front of the reference to the report item and then divide it by the report items year certificate total value. If we hit OK at that point, it's probably worthwhile applying some basic formatting here. So I'm gonna apply the percentage formatting to that cell. Then let's just increase the number of decimal places by a couple. Then if we run the report again, we should now be seeing the value of each total runtime minutes as the percentage contribution to that certificate and year. Just to complete the example, let's convert the value for the total column into the percentage for that year. This we can do using the sum function and the scope parameter again. So if we head back to the design view, we can right click on the total column sum of runtime minutes expression, choose expression, and then we can simply divide this value by the same value, but with a changed scope. So I'm just gonna quickly copy and paste the sum function. And then for the second one, we'll refer to the release year scope. So the final expression looks like so. And then if we hit OK and then apply the same formatting, let's use percentage formatting and increase the number of decimal places by a couple. When we run the report now, we'll see the percentage of the grand total for that particular year. So hopefully that's enough to answer the original question. Not an immediately obvious solution to this one, I think. Um, thanks for the question. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it useful. See you next time.